Hello parents, it's me, Mr. Flegel, your son or daughter's history teacher here at Freedom Academy. I just want to make a short video. Hopefully I can keep this to like five minutes, but I feel like it's going to be incredibly informative, uh, productive, and make life very easy to start the school year. I want to introduce you to what I've been using in my classroom the last few years, Google Classroom. Here's the icon here. Google Classroom, you can get on your computer, you can get it on an iPad, you can get it on an iPhone, almost any smart device. And here's what Google Classroom is. Google Classroom allows students to receive assignments electronically on their iPad or on their iPhone or whatever. They do. It allows them to receive assignments. It allows them to turn in assignments electronically. It allows me to grade the assignments and send them back to the students electronically and basically creates a paperless type community in the classroom. Okay, so a ton, a ton of perks there, but maybe the biggest perk for me, uh, and I hope it's kind of a gift to you and, and, and your student, is that this is basically the kind of systems they use in the high schools. Okay, it's gone paperless. It's gone electronic, uh, where students submit something to the teacher and, te and the teacher submits it back to the student. So I'm hoping that with a year or two of practice on the Google Classroom, uh, they're going to they're going to enjoy it. They're going to see the benefits of it. And then when they get to high school, they're not going to be behind. They're going to they've done it before. They it, it's going to be a seamless transition. I hope so. That's Google Classroom. Let me show you how to join a class. Let me show you, show you how to set it up. It's incredibly easy. But again, we're looking for this Google Classroom on whatever device you're using. So step one on a desktop is go to Google. And on Google, you can see that I need to sign in uh, with a Gmail account. So if you don't have a Gmail account, that's another little step. It's not hard. It's free. That's the best part. Gmail account will work best. So I need to sign in. And I have created a Gmail account for the sake of this video to kind of show you what to do. So since I already have a Gmail account, I'm going to click it. It's going to ask for my super secret password. Of course, we type that in, we hit next, and all we've done so far is you can see that I am logged into Google. So good, step one done. I still understand, Mr. Flegel. I like this video, right? So now we got to get to Google Classroom, and that is by going to the waffle, clicking that, and we start looking for that Google Classroom app icon. So we're going to scroll a little bit. Uh, and we're looking for Google Classroom. Here it is. We click it, and it's going to ask us this step. Do you want to create or join a class? Yeah, we want to join a class. We want Mr. Flegel's history class. So we hit the plus button, and we hit join, and you're going to get a code. So each class, both my 8th grades, both my 7th grades, you all have completely different codes. I'm going to add that to the email. So just check the email, see the little code, and we're going to type it into this one. For the sake of this video, I'm going to use my eighth grade first hour code, and we're going to type that in. There's my code. I want to join the class, and hocus pocus, wow, we are in eighth grade first hour. Done. You are part of Mr. Flegel's 8th grade Google Classroom class. You can now submit assignments electronically. You can get assignments electronically. I can grade them electronically. And uh, we're rolling. So let me show you what the benefits of these are again. So we're on the Stream page here. And Stream is basically the equivalent of like Facebook timeline, only it's educational and not full of memes and mess and stuff like that. This is an educational Facebook timeline. What you'll see here is I have the date, I have the name of this message, and I kind of just give you a reminder of what we did in class that day. And all of them will be listed as the year goes on. So stream again, Facebook timeline page, it's full of messages, it's full of reminders of what we did in class, okay? So once you look at the stream and you see what we did in class, you might want to probably click over to the classwork page. And under classwork, you're going to see what we did that day, July 30th. 
It's called Remind App, and then when you click on it, you're going to get the instructions on what to do for this assignment. So I'm going to click on it, and then here's the instructions. Hey guys, don't forget to sign up for the Remind App. If you forgot the code to sign up, I've attached it below. Okay, I understand that, Mr. Flegel. Uh, I did forget. Let me click on the attachment below right here, and it reminds you of how to sign up for the Remind App. So when we get into real real history assignments you're gonna see assignments listed it's gonna have the instructions and it's gonna have maybe a video that we watched in class it might have a picture of the textbook in class it's gonna have everything listed or attached to whatever we did in class that day so again if you're coming home late and you want to get a little bit of work done in the car you can uh, if you're sick if you're absent Technically, you don't need to come back and say, Mr. Flegel, I don't know what we did. It's listed now. I mean, if you're incredibly sick and, and, and out of it, I don't expect you to get on Google Classroom. But if you want to come back and not be behind, Google Classroom, another advantage is it's with you wherever you want it to be. Phone, iPad, desktop. So hopefully that um, helps you a little bit. Uh, I kept it to about six and a half minutes. It's a little longer than I wanted, but hopefully it's really beneficial. Hopefully that makes it easy on how to get you started for Flegel's history class with the Google Classroom. Have a great day, and I will see you in just a few days.